Hey, but it's me, Spotted Cat here with another, I don't know, modeling video, I guess. So, so, I'm basically just showcasing the models I've done so far. So, yeah, let's start with my first model, which is uh, this Panzer 2 right there. It's pretty nice. Got camouflage right there. Okay. Yeah. Then I think my second model is this Panzer Three right here. Let's take the guy out. Okay, this is gonna take a long time to do all of these. Okay, then this Panzer Three. Pretty nice. Oh yeah, speaking of Panzer 3s, I'm gonna do a Panzer 3 off uh, H sometime soon, so stay tuned for that. So I'm just gonna, not gonna do from orders. So, so first we have a car uh, half track Panzer 1. If I can focus. Panzer 2. By the way, I camouflaged and painted all by myself. So that's. A step forward for me and weathered it and put the decals on. So there's Luchus or Lux. And then we have <coughs> my most recent model that I finished, the Nuba Fogzoig right here. It's got yeah, let's turn it there. It's the Nuba Fogzoig. And the Panzer IV, which I built after building the Panzer III. You kind of see where I'm going with this. Uh, there's some customization. That thing fell off of there. So there's people in there. Oh, that. Let's take that off. That looks terrible. So we have the Panther here, which the gun can move. And if I can position it correctly, uh, the gun uh, traveling lock can be put on. So, oh. Nah. Yeah. Uh, there, travel lock. Then we have a tiger. It's a three one three version. Okay, and then we have the tiger, R tiger royal or tiger two or king tiger, whatever you want to call it. It's the Porsche design turret, and it's got camouflage. And here's the tiger, the henshaw design, I think. It's got the turret, the henshaw turret, but it's got. Spots and a hard line. So now going to the British side, smallest to largest, we have our weapons carrier here. Yeah. Okay, then we are having our uh, M3 Stewart uh, Honey version. Yes, Honey. It's pretty nice. The and then we have a. Uh, Cruiser Mark IV, I think. Yeah, right there. This one's pretty good. It's got turrets. And I also have another turret that I made for this. So it's got the spaced armor and not the spaced armor. So let's take this out. Eh, it's hard to see through. Eh, okay, so here's this. People have fallen. So we have our Matilda. Unfortunately, uh, my, this was like maybe two years ago when I made this. When my dad made this, obviously. Because I wasn't good at making. He accidentally glued the drive wheel so that doesn't turn side face. And then we have a Valentine here. The turret can turn. There we go. Valentine. There's a guy in there. Uh, here is the Grant. This thing can move. The gun can move on top. This thing can move. And then we have a bishop. It's an artillery. The gun can recoil. Let's see. Uh, boom. It's got a full interior, just the casing inside. But we have a crusader. Nice. Sherman 5. Right there. Uh, Cromwell. Uh, this is a coaxial machine gun can move. The gun can move. We have our Churchill, a Sherman Firefly, and then a Comet. 
So, yeah. So now for the Americans, smallest to largest, we have uh, a car. Uh, uh, I've got a Willys Jeep there, or MB. And then we have a half track, an M3 Stewart, M5 Stewart, M3 Lee. Uh, testers in three that I just got because I wanted one and it's kind of bad. <laughs> Sorry, good cold. We have a Chaffee in for A3 E2 or a Sherman in for A3 E2 Sherman Winter. And then we have the Fury. I'm going to get rid of those because my dad put this on. That's not accurate to the movie. And then we have our uh, lip smacking. And then you have a uh, bulldog right there, and then we have our pattern, which got work and suspension. Ring, 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 ring. And then our smallest Russian is a T28 over here, and then we have a BT5, BT7, T28, uh, KB1. All of these, unlike uh, yeah, unlike the T35 that I have right here, the gun doesn't move on this, but um, this one right here. So yeah, it's kind of bad. So then we have a KV-1 right there, T-34-76, T-34-76, T-34-85. The gun's kind of weird right there. The KV-2. So this is uh, when I started making uh, my model videos with the T-34-85. When I first started the IS-2, and then uh, the T-34-85, then the KV-2. I didn't do the T-35 because I was too big. And then we have our Hotchkiss, the lovely Hotchkiss. And then the Suma, which I didn't record, sad face. And also this is where I started doing my music. You didn't get no music, sad face. And here's our uh, Char B1 Bis. That's, uh, let's see, the gun can move, the front gun, and this gun can move. But yeah, the cupola can move on this one right there. The cupola can turn, turn on this one too. And this one, that can, this cupola can turn, but it's kind of hard to see. And to our, uh, first, uh, TD of the, of our, of, that I've built so far, which is, uh, the Martyr 3. Uh, Russian, it's got a Russian gun right there. This has a travel lock. So, yeah. Look at this T-35, it's... Cool. I also have a, a right here a T forty five a TBD Devastator American <laughs> torpedo bomber, and then uh, down here we have a uh, Warthog. I forgot the name. A ten. And I have a small Tiger one there. I have a giant Crush collection. We got some trains. Uh, I have right here a really dead B29. This is actually the first model I've ever built, but this is at some camp that I had. So yeah, the turtle. It's pink. And then you have a B24, which is not dead. Besides this B29, which is dead. So we got there. Video. Okay. So, here there's some the models over there, the Koba stuff. So here I have a, I think this is a pattern right here. So that other one is a Pershing, not a pattern, my bad. Uh, the pattern here, I think. And then here I have an Abrams. This gun is dead. And we have another Abrams right there from that one toy review video, which is weird. Uh, got a lot of the Lego Mars mission. Let's look, keep looking at that. Uh, <coughs> sorry. What are the things I have? I have an X-Wing there. Some destroyed things right there to train so yeah i guess it's basically it for my models that i've done so far so hope you enjoy the video and i guess i'll see you guys next time
and always cite your sources.